Hi YouTube family, it's Lola from Lola's Life Lessons. So many of you guys have been asking for an update on our horror show bad vacation. Most of you guys wanted to know, number one, were we refunded fully? Number two, how is Stan doing? Number three, did the hotel and Sunwing make things right with us, make things right with the situation. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button and click that notification bell for future videos. Before getting into all of that, I just wanted to do um, a recap for the people that are new to my channel. On August 13th to the 20th, 2019, we stayed at the Sol Cayo Guillermo in Cayo Coco, Cuba. This was not, this was not a sponsored vacation. And if it was, we would still have made the video we did. And of course, share with you our 100% honest opinion and experience as we always have on this channel. We spent our own money for this trip, $2,575.92 for myself, my husband, and our daughter. Now for the quick recap. Okay, so to start off, the hotel was a dump. Uh, we did not have a good experience. Actually, our stay was horrible. When we first saw the stray cats in the lobby and also uh, crabs running around in the lobby, that should have been an indication to us. An indication of what was in store for us. There were a host of health and safety concerns at the hotel. The room we stayed in had a leaky roof. Water was leaking not only in the bedroom, um, in the corner of the room, but also in the bathroom. And sadly, my husband received an electric shock from the water that was leaking in this bathroom. Lucky for him and for us, he was wearing rubber sandals at the time. Not only did we have to deal with the leaks um, in the room and my husband getting an electric shock, but we also had to deal with all of the bugs in our room. There were bugs in every area and surface of our room. I am not exaggerating. There were bugs on the dresser, on the floor, on the walls, in the bed, under the bed. We saw cockroaches, ants, flying ants, bugs in our bed, mosquitoes, flies. This was a bug's life. This place was infested with bugs. On our very first night of staying at this hotel, I had a bowl of soup and I found a large cockroach in my soup. As I mentioned, we saw bugs on the walls. As you can see, here are some bugs. I guess going for a walk up these walls, I guess this is how they're getting in. I don't know, I guess. Here is, I would assume, a flying ant. There were bugs all over the bathroom floor as well. Here we are in the bedroom. As you can see, bugs all over the floor. I don't know what type of bugs they are.
And as you can see here, there are some bugs in our bed. There's bugs everywhere. And because of all the bugs, we did not unpack our suitcases. We just kept our clothes in there. And when we returned to Canada, we basically had to throw away our suitcases. In the dining room, there were flies all over the food, swarms of flies. I am not exaggerating, guys. Um, it is very unusual to catch a, a fly in flight if you take a picture or a video. However, I was able to catch a couple shots of some flies feeding on some cheese. Sorry to gross you out. At this hotel, there never seemed to be enough clean towels, cups, plates, spoons. I found that the sanitation was very dangerous. There's definitely some issues here at this hotel, especially at the beach snack bar. Plates, utensils are merely rinsed with a dirty rag. There is no dishwasher. There are are flies all over the food at the snack bar and they simply just get burned up in the fire or they just hang out in the food. Did I mention this place was swarming with flies, mosquitoes? Well, as you can see here at the snack bar near the lobby, what you are seeing right there are dead flies all over the counter. You can see here, this is our pool, and we did not go in to this pool. First day at this hotel, we noticed that they did not change our sheets from the previous guests. How do we know? There was blood on our sheets. I could go on and on about the problems at this hotel. Uh, but I want to keep this video short. We did report um, these issues to customer service and they did offer us another room. However, that room was also bug infested. And as you can see from this little video here, okay, this room was infested with flies and mosquitoes. It's very difficult to catch a picture of flies in flight but as you can see here a couple, uh, more than a couple of flies decided to take rest on the bed and you can see them those black spots on the bed are flies So we did what we could. Uh, we filled out customer complaint form at the hotel. We filled out a customer complaint form on the flight home. Um, we did that one for Sunwing vacations. As soon as I got home, I wrote both the owner of Sol Cayo Guillermo, the um, Medilla Club Hotels, and email to Sunwing was sent. So I emailed both the hotel owner and also I sent an email to Sunwing Vacations. Only Sunwing replied and they acted as a mediator for both um, myself, my husband, and the hotel. Um, so you all want to know what the outcome was. Thank you for sticking around for the outcome. We did not get a full refund. Sunwing said the hotel was willing to only refund us. Uh, I think it was like $95.55 Canadian. Yeah, guys, 
$95.55 Canadian. And as I mentioned to you guys, we had paid over $2,500 for this vacation. So um, after some back and forth with Sunwing Vacations, um, I realized that uh, my efforts were absolutely pointless. I didn't want to waste any more time. It was obvious that the hotel did not get it and they did not understand our concerns. And that was kind of sad and scary actually. So to answer your questions, your three questions, number one, uh, no, we were not refunded fully. Number two, Stan had headaches immediately after the electric shock that he received from the leak. Um, but he was mostly concerned that the hotel fixed the problem. And he was really concerned that the hotel would ensure that this did not happen to another guest. God forbid there was a fatality due to the shock to another guest, um, especially if they're not going to fix the problem in the bathroom. Number three, um, no, I don't think Sun Wing or the hotel made things right. Um, we will not be returning to Cuba and we will not be returning to any hotel that is associated with Medela Club or Medela Cuba Hotels. Actually, you know, uh, my channel is called Lola's Life Lessons and so this was a life lesson and I hope that um, by y'all watching this video that you all learned something from our experience as well. So I just want to thank you guys so much for watching and I want you guys to stay happy, stay healthy. Please subscribe and please share this video with everyone you know. Bye! Would we have returned and given this hotel a second chance if they had done the right thing? The answer is absolutely, absolutely yes. If they had refunded our money, we would have returned and given them a second chance. But under the circumstances, we cannot recommend this hotel to friends, co-workers, enemies, frenemies, people with health issues. No, we cannot recommend this hotel. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe, please like, please share. And I want all of you guys to stay happy and healthy. Bye.